Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wanted to do a video sharing with you something that I've had on my mind for many, many months now, and it's actually involving this chic spiral that you probably know. I've filmed an unboxing of this a while ago. I will post it down below, but I haven't used it at all. As you can see, it's been sitting in the cotton bag and it's just sitting there. So I thought I would bring it out and use it in a way that uh, kind of brings me joy. Because at this moment, I'm, I don't know, I'm in a phase, well, I'm always in like a brown phase, uh, more of like a neutral earth tone type of person. And I'm really enjoying my brown travelers notebooks. It's getting all dinged up. And I'm just, I'm really into like the browns and the neutrals and the natural colors. And so I assumed, I don't know why, I thought I would be using this this summer and it's just sitting there. And I've had this idea for quite some time. I've wanted to store my papers, so ephemera papers or big pieces of papers that I use uh, for my journaling spread. I thought I would keep them in here. I thought it would be a fun idea. Maybe you have some sleeping traveler's notebooks or sleeping folios <laughs> in your stash that you could also take out and you can kind of play along with. So the things that I this is kind of based on, um, I don't have it with me, the small little booklet that I got from Two Silver Oranges. There's like a small little notebook, uh, like a paper notebook, and the signatures or the pieces of paper that sit in as notebooks, they're not sewn in to the notebook, so they're free. Like the pages are free, and you can easily take them out, put them back in. So it's kind of based around that idea. So storing your larger pieces of paper, so pieces that you can use for backgrounds and things, um, storing them in a sleep, <laughs> sleeping traveler's notebook. So let's start off with some of the papers that I wanted to include. And a lot of these pieces are from packaging. This is from the uh, bento, stationary bento box. So it, even if it doesn't fit, like this is too long. And let's say that like the paper is, the real paper is quite big, as you can see there. But you can easily just, you know, fold it up and stick it in. And the, the cool thing is, it's kind of like a flowish. I don't know if some people have heard of this terminology, like a flowish journal where the notebook is packed full of papers and things that you can use for your journals. And maybe this is a little too tall, so I'll just fold it some more. And there's no harm in doing that. Uh, let's do it this way then. I just don't want it to get too bulky. And I think this one is a little bit too tall as well, but I can just fold it up. And there's no re like there's no um, right or wrong way of doing it. This I thought would be cool. Like it kind of acts like a pocket if you just pass it through the elastic here. It acts like a pocket if you open like if you slice this side here uh, and have some like washi tape or something to secure it in. Or you can just ha have it as a top lo loading pocket. Just slice open the top there and you can stick in little bits and pieces. So for example, this one right here, this might fit in here. Smaller bits like this. This is also from the stationary bento box. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Oh, these ones will fit in there, these tags. And you can do it by theme. So maybe you have a journal that you're working on that's more of like a colorful theme. So you can add all the colorful bits and pieces to that traveler's notebook. This is more of like a vintage theme. And so you want to add all your vintage types of papers and color theme into one traveler's notebook. Or you can also have sections within the traveler's notebook as well. So like it, it just, it can go on and on. Like there's just so many ideas. I thought I would just quickly share this with you because I, I, for some reason lately, I've just been piling my papers up, as, as you can see. I've been piling my papers up and I really just want to keep it in one spot. I, 
I recently saw Alice's video and she has all of her papers in a traveler's notebook as well but she ha uses it uses a blank insert and she organizes it that way um, it was very interesting but I'm not as organized as she is so I just kind of you know pass it through the elastic and done that's it um, let's see what other papers we can include these are smaller papers that will fit in here I have to share with you my pocket ring size planner that I've been using for months and months and months I have to film that I keep forgetting there's some paper here. I'm going to open that up. Maybe. Pull that through. Maybe I'll do like glassine and like uh, translucent papers in the back. Maybe that would be a good idea. So glassine and translucent stuff in the back here. Maybe more colorful stuff in the front. And because this is a, whoops, upside down, because this is a deluxe traveler's notebook from Chic Sparrow, this is, I think it's called the Nightingale. There are pockets that you can utilize, of course. This is more the col colorful stuff. I can always slide that in there as well, just like that. But you can also use the pockets, so that's what I will do for the die cuts there. A postcard. I'm not sure if that's gonna fit. I think this would be really great if I just slit the top there. Let's try that right now. Let's just cut the top right off. <laughs> just the top edge and see how that works. Nothing special about it. So you can reuse your pocket, plastic pocket uh, bags. Instead of throwing them out, you can use them as little folders. There's some more pieces here. These are really great. These small like paper bits that maybe I'll put them in the back here because they're more like translucent type of papers. And this is a chic sparrow. I don't think I need all of it though. I don't want to keep it all. Let's cut this in half. I've, I've hoarded this for so long, but it's so pretty that I cannot just throw away. Uh, let's see here. Let's fold this up here. There's another set. There we go. There's another set of elastic right here, so I'll do that. Very, very... Um, like, I'm doing it really carefree. I'm not making sure that all the edges are lined up straight or anything like that. But let's put that there. And already it's getting quite nice and full. It's a lot cleaner and a lot better than what I had here previously with this huge stack of papers. Um, my friend Katrin, she sent me this lovely booklet. And um, see, it closes up like this. And she had the, or was it like this? She had the die cuts in here as well. Um, but even if I just, I was thinking of including this in here, but I'm not sure it might stick out a little bit. Um, but even if it, even if I did it like that, that would be perfect. And I wanted to just share with you one more small little thing. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. Um, if you find that your notebooks are getting quite bulky like you're getting the crocodile mouth where it's like too too bulky I find myself uh, ripping out pages like I've already done over here and I hope she doesn't mind the lady that uh, made the traveler's notebook Dwen but even if you just cut let's just cut this piece for example 
Then you can use this piece as a background for another page, like right here or something. Um, it cuts down, like instead of having this page as an actual page and then adding on top of this page, you eliminate this page altogether and then add to a previous page. Does that make sense? So you're kind of uh, eliminating a little bit of the bulk, just just a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking of showing you, and if this bothers you, you can absolutely glue it down and make this an actual spread. And let's see if there's any other papers that I can rip out. I'm thinking maybe this is nice and thin. Maybe this one here I can rip out doesn't have to be straight. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one right here. This is a really nice graph paper. If you don't like the straight edge, you can, of course, use... If you like the, the more of the rough look, you can just use... You can just rip it out that way as well with the rough look, and you can glue it that down. And let's see if there's any other pages that we can do this to. There's a pocket here. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> uh, let's take this one out. It's more. It's a, it's kind of thick, but I'm not. I'm gonna rip it out instead. Do it this way. Here we go. And let's add these papers to my notebook right here. And they're more of like the neutral colors, so I will stick it with this paper stash right here, like that. So this is like the more neutral papers, the glassine and translucent type of papers. You can put your postcards in here, little ephemera die cuts in ephem um, little smaller pieces, and then here is more of like the colorful bolder colors, I guess, and there's a whole bunch of more space over here, and let's stick this in the back, and that's it. Now I can start using my Chic Sparrow Nightingale. Um, yeah, I, I like it. I like how that turned out. What do you think? That way it's a lot easier for me to journal on the table here. I can just grab these two traveler's notebooks and of course I can give this a purpose instead of just having it sleep in the pouch. It's so sad. Um, but now that I have this I can just grab these two and journal. So I thought I would share that quick tip with you. I've been wanting to do this for a long long time every month. So I hope you find that helpful. I hope you can maybe bring out some of your sleeping traveler's notebooks that you have. Uh, that needs some lovin' and you can stuff them with papers and ephemera and packaging and things that you want to journal about. You can have different sections and um, if you have like a big plastic baggie that you're not using, you can also use that as a pocket as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.